What's up guys, I'm LFYT and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to install shaders for fabric. So first thing that you guys are going to want to do, make sure you get the Minecraft launcher and that you do have Minecraft Java Edition installed because it will only work for Java Edition. And I'm going to be using the latest release which is 1.20.2 but you guys can use whichever version that you want to. And so if you are using a version that you have never played before, make sure that you hit the screen play button here and then once you're on the Minecraft menu that you just click quit game. So that way Minecraft knows that you have played it before and so that way just everything runs smoothly. Once you guys have done that, or if you guys have already done that, just make sure that you close out of the Minecraft launcher, open up your browser, or go to the first link in the description, and we're going to be installing Java. You guys can skip this part if you already have Java installed, but if you don't, I'm going to be showing you how to install it. Alright, so if you are on this page, you're going to want to click the green download button. It should, yeah, there we go, should download. I'm going to put this in my downloads and I'm just going to click save. Once it's done downloading, open up your files and then go to where I saved, mine is in my downloads, and I'm just going to click open. A screen should pop up asking if you want to allow Java to make changes to your device, just click yes. Alright, so this window should pop up and you're just going to want to click the install button. Alright guys, so once Java has finished installing, just click the close button and then go to the second link in the description and we're going to be installing Fabric. Alright, so once you are on Fabric, you should see Download Universal Jar, and we're just going to click on that instead of downloading for Windows, because Download for Universal Jar, it just works better, and that's the one that I always use. Alright, so once that has downloaded, we are going to right-click on it, click Open With, and then click Java. Alright, so once this window has popped up, just select here whichever version you're using, I'm doing 1.20.2, and then just click the Install button. Alright, so once it's done installing, just click the OK button then click the X here. Now we are going to be downloading Fabric API, so go to the third link in the description and select whichever game version you guys are going to be doing, and then just install this latest one here, then I just click download. Alright, so once it's done downloading, go to the fourth link in the description and it should be Irish Shaders. And so up here, just select whichever version you guys are going to be installing, and then click on the top release, and then click the download button, and then click save. And once that has finished downloading, down here it should say that sodium is required so we will also be installing sodium. So this will be the fifth link in the description. Or if you guys just want to, use this page here and just click that button that was down there. So go over to versions, then click filter versions, select your version, click on it, and then click download. And once that is done downloading, go to the, I think it's the sixth link in the description. And it should be complimentary shaders unbound, which is my favorite shaders to use, so we're going to be using them today. But you guys can use whichever shaders that you want to, as long as it's compatible with Iris. But just select whichever version you're doing right up here, click on it, and then click download. Alright, so once you have downloaded everything, open up your Minecraft launcher, and we are going to be installing everything now. Alright, so it should say that Fabric has been installed down in the bottom left corner and then go over to installations and then click on the little folder by fabric all right now you're going to want to look for the mods folder so once you found it open up another file and then go over to where you saved everything i saved mine in my downloads i would assume that you probably did too but once you have it open select the fabric api drag it into your mods folder you're going to want to take iris do the same thing and then also sodium as well once you have those three in your mods folder, go back to .minecraft, and then look for your shader packs folder. Once you have found it, uh, put complementary unbound right into that folder. And then you can click out of both of those files, and then click play, and I'm going to be showing you how to set everything up in Minecraft. Alright guys, so once you are on the main menu, open up options, go over to video settings, Shader Packs, make sure that Complementary Unbound is selected, and then go over to Shader Pack Settings. And then once you're on this page, you can change your profile. Uh, it should be set on High, which is what I usually put mine on, especially when I'm recording. Sometimes I'll put it on Ultra, which is the highest that you can put it on, which I usually only put that on when I'm not recording. And then the lowest that you can put it on would be Potato. Just make sure that you, whichever setting you have it on, your computer can handle that. All right, so if you want to have it on a custom setting, you can go over into Performance. And then it should still have your profile up here. But you can also mess with all of this stuff just to try and make it so way. Maybe you want this to be better quality. Maybe you want your computer to be able to handle running these shaders better. So yeah, you can mess around with that if you want. I usually don't touch that. Alright, so if you go into lighting, 
this is what everything should be set on i usually don't touch anything in here you guys can mess around with it but this is what i usually have it on all right so you might find that once you go into the game that your water looks like normal minecraft water it's not wavy it doesn't look realistic and so what you're gonna want to do go into materials go into water change this from default style to reimagined plus waves if you want waves or just reimagined if you want it to look better only turn this on though if you're if you know your computer can handle it because it can hurt your computer's performance all right so for waving textures i usually like to have waving leaves on so i like to have all of the stuff on waving leaves will be put on off for default and then i usually leave all of the stuff normal unless the waving like if maybe i want waving intensity up a little bit or like the waving speed but i usually don't touch that rain puddles it kind of depends sometimes i like them on sometimes i don't really like them on because sometimes it can be a lot so there's different settings for this if you want to put it on full if you want to put it on just a little bit but i think that it adds like a nice touch to the game it just makes it look a little less flat and a little more realistic so yeah you can change that however you want to and then in integrated materials if we go into glowing ores i usually like to have this on because i just it looks really cool when you have glowing ores on it makes the caves look a lot more brighter and less dark and so you guys can mess with this stuff and just change whatever ores you want to be on but i usually like to have this on and then you can also change the ore glow strength which i don't think i usually change um sometimes i might but i don't usually change that all right so for camera i usually used to have lens flare and motion blur on and i used to have all of that on too which i still do now but i used to use these because they looked they looked really cool they looked a lot more realistic at in game it just kind of affected the computer a lot so if you guys are going to use these i'll make sure that your computer can handle it and that it doesn't crash your game and the reason i don't use these anymore is usually for recording purposes because the only time i really play minecraft now is for making videos sometimes i'll play it on my own but yeah it's really cool honestly so if you guys want to try it i do recommend it um just make sure that your computer can handle it all right, so next in atmosphere, the clouds too are probably gonna look like normal Minecraft clouds. So it will be set on default style, but I like to have it on reimagined. Or you can put it on unbound, but yeah, unbound or reimagined. I'm gonna use unbound. Cause honestly, I did not know that was an option until now. So, which is, that's the newest version of this shader pack. So I do recommend putting it on unbound cause it probably will look a lot nicer than reimagined. The next thing that I like to have on is night nebula because it adds galaxies to the game and it looks really cool at nighttime especially in the snowy biome which is like one of my favorite biomes to go to at nighttime just because it's so pretty i love like making like little like shots of like the snowy biome at night and like when it's snowing it's, it's really pretty you guys should definitely have night nebula on all right so once you guys are done changing all of your settings make sure that you hit apply and then you can load up a new game and then you can use these shaders and please let me know down below if they're not working, if something's wrong, if you have a question about anything. Um, I made this tutorial to help you guys, so I will do my best to help you. As always, I am not a professional, so yeah, I'm not a professional, but I will do my best to help you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, it really helps a lot. And yeah, I'm Alpha YT, and I'll see you later.